making friends, and um, sorry it's been so long since I've made a video. Um, these months in October, November, December are pretty crazy, pretty busy, as is I'm sure for most of you. But all three of my daughters have birthdays in October, so it is just... I have had no time to make videos. But I did want to make a quick video about my glue gun because I get at least two questions a week about which glue gun I have. So some of you might have already um, heard me talk about it in another video, but I thought I'd do a video just for my glue gun. So my glue gun, it's fairly small and the brand is Sure Bonder. It has a very fine tip and I'm pretty sure that it says on the packaging fine tip glue gun. Um, I purchased mine at Joann's, um, but any, you know, craft store that carries this brand, I'm sure would have it. They do have a couple different glue guns, so this is, you know, the fine tip. It's very tiny, your tip, which is why I love it, because you can definitely control how much glue comes out of your glue gun. The only bad thing about it, and maybe this is with all glue guns, but I tend to do it with this one, is I'll turn it on, think I'm going to make a bow, and I forget about it, or it's a little longer than I wanted before I started using it. So if that happens, it does kind of like not want to get the glue out. Like when you squeeze it, it doesn't really, the glue doesn't come out. It's like it overheats or something. So um, I suggest that if you do turn it on, you know, give it five minutes or so to heat up, but that you should start using it right away. You can fix it. You kind of have to like squeeze it and push the glue stick and eventually it'll start working. I have had to actually kind of clean it out with a wooden dowel, which you can see that that's what I've done with this one because I kind of had to get all the glue out before it would start working again. Um, but that ha has only happened maybe once and like I said, it's because I leave it on. I forget that I was going to do something. I got sidetracked. So anyways, um, it takes the smaller glue sticks um, and that's about it. It has a little, it comes with this little stand so you can, you know, easily put it like that and grab it when you need it. But I do love it. I have a bigger glue gun for more like crap, more craft projects, but this is, I only use this one for making bows because I love the amount of glue that comes out. And then also I wanted to show you my heat sealing tool just for the few people that have asked about that also. My, the brand is Walnut Hollow, and I'm pretty sure I got this at Joann's, possibly Michael's, but you buy them in like the wood crafting section of the craft store. This is the tip I use. It's a slanted tip, if you can see that. Let me put my hand there. It's a slanted tip, but it comes with a couple different tips, and it gets very hot. So it heats up pretty quickly, um, but it does get really hot, so you got to be careful with that. Um, I just, I've showed you before, I just tap my ribbon with it, but some people do actually cut like on a piece of metal, um, so whichever way you want, but that is the, what the wood tool looks like, burning tool, and it's great for sealing the ends of your ribbon. Um, so I think that's about it. Um, thanks for all your kind comments, those that leave comments, and um, I enjoy making videos for you guys, and um, Hopefully I'll get start getting caught up. This is the next video I really want to make, the turkey. So hopefully this week I'm going to get to that. And um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.